Hello and welcome to the Christmas Story Art Exhibition and Competition 2020, now in its 15th year. I'd like to begin by expressing appreciation for the ongoing participation of the Archdiocese of Sydney and the Diocese of Wollongong and Bathurst. Particularly acknowledge the support of Mr Tony Farley, Executive Director of Sydney Catholic Schools, Mr Peter Hill, Director of Schools in the Diocese of Wollongong, and Mrs Christina Trimble, Executive Director of Schools in the Diocese of Bathurst. Can I particularly thank our judges who have given many years commitment to this project. First of all, Mrs Jody Mikalev, Specialist Religious Education from the Diocese of Sydney. Mr Les Quick, Education Officer for Creative Arts and Communication in the Diocese of Bathurst. Mrs Amanda McPaul Brown, Principal of Heart of the Mountains Art Studio. And myself, Professional Officer for Gifted Education, Creativity and Critical Thinking in the Diocese of Wollongong. On behalf of the judges, I'd like to make mention of many of the comments that we made during the process. First of all, highlighting the deep personal and scriptural reflective thinking that was evident throughout the whole competition. I'd like to recognise the originality, creativity and skillful artistic techniques in a broad range of media, including pencil, collage, charcoal, paint, textiles, watercolours and many more. Congratulations particularly to the facilitating teachers as well as the students. Congratulations to all. I now invite Mrs Jody Mikalev to lead us in prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Advent bursts, violet and beautiful, like the jacaranda tree on the very brink of an Australian summer. It is a tree of contradictions, like this season of the church's year. Green leafed in winter, golden in the spring, blossoming from bare trunk to welcome summer, laying purple carpets to greet a king, who is not here, but coming. Creator God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armour of light. Now in the time in which your Son Jesus Christ came to visit us in great humility. Through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. What I tell you in the dark, you must say in the light. And what you hear whispered in your ear, you must proclaim from the housetops. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's really important right now to acknowledge all our finalists. From over 800 artworks submitted, from many thousands of students' work from the different schools, there are 95 finalists. And we congratulate them all, who will all be featured in the Catholic Weekly Colour Lift Out. I'd like to begin with the highly commended prizes for Year 5. First of all, to Emily Benefiel from St Joseph's Bulli for her work, Silent Witness. To Tim Coddington from St Mary's Dubbo 
for the journey of happiness. Highly commended to Digby Evans from St. Joseph's Molong, a glorious night. To Darcy Ibarra, Holy Family Menai, for the loving grace. To Mia Murray from St. Francis de Sales Woolaware for the brightest shining star. To Layla Van Acker from St. Joseph's Bulleye, Journey Rising. Highly commended to Emilia Ficano from Holy Spirit Khan's Hill for the holy journey of the Magi. And that concludes our highly commended prizes for year five. I'd now like to announce the highly commended prizes for year six students. To Eden Butler from St. Thomas Aquinas Barrel for Creation's Hope. Highly commended to Emily Demetrio from Our Lady of Fatima Caringbar for One Step at a Time. To Neve Dignam from St. Joseph's Bulleye, Hope Within Reach. To Isaac Ostini from St. Joseph's Molong, A Mother's Miracle. Highly commended to Elsie Smith from Our Lady of Fatima, Caringbar. For Journey to the Moment. And highly commended to Jack Wilson, St. Clair's Norellenvale, The Annunciation. Congratulations to all our highly commended students. Now let us begin with the third prize awards, awards of artistic materials and certificates. Third prize goes to Kobe Perkins in Year 5 from St Paul's Camden for Royal Trickery. And third prize for Year 6, who is a joint winner, the judges could not decide between these two works, so both received the award. To, first of all, to Elise Estrich from St. Thomas Aquinas Barrel for the Puppeteer's Strings. And third prize also to Isabella Levin, St. St. Paul's Camden for Fervent Rage. Congratulations to these students. Our second prize awards for Year 5 and 6 Go to Kira Tui, Year 5, Our Lady of Fatima Karingba for Innocence. And our Year 6 second prize goes to Abbey Way, St Luke's, Reesby for Nativity Dreaming. And now for our first prize awards for Year 5 and Year 6. First prize to Year 5 goes to Jerigo Orogovani from St. Patrick's Sutherland for The Shepherds. And first prize, Year 6, goes to Georgia Xanthos from St. Luke's Reesby for Mary's Faithful Journey into Jesus' Future. Congratulations to our first prize winners. Now we are very lucky each year to have the support of the School Club Art, Craft and Stationery Supplies. And they donate each year an encouragement award 
which would usually go to one of our students in the public schools, our Catholic students in public schools. But they were unable to participate this year. So Sophie Chen, the managing director, has chosen from our pool of 95 works. And the school club encouragement award this year goes to Jack Wilson from St. Clair's Norellan Vale for the Annunciation. Congratulations to Jack. And now for the Year 5 and the Year 6 Journey Awards for the artworks that best capture the concept of journey. And in Year 5, the award goes to Oliver Connolly from St Paul's Catholic Primary, Camden for Over and Over We Celebrate. The Year 6 Journey Award goes to Nicholas Cook from St Francis Edmondson Park for Shining Bright Star Lead the Way. Congratulations to our students for achieving the Journey Awards. Now, to present the trophies and awards, I invite Mrs Jodie Mikalev to present those to you. It is my great pleasure to announce the trophy awards for 2020. For the students who are watching and their families, these awards, certificates and the Catholic Weekly Booklet will be delivered to your schools after our event today. This year, the judges recognised the strength of artistic achievement. Because of this, we have three artistic achievement awards. The first award is the highly commended Artistic Achievement Award, and that goes to Molly Lucas, St. Ambrose, Concord West. Let faith lighten your load. The Artistic Achievement Award for Year 5 goes to Monique Suma, Year 5, St. Michael's The Rule, Mary's Dress. The Artistic Achievement Award for Year 6 goes to Sienna Marcel, St. Joan of Arc Haberfield, The Gift. The Spirit of Christmas Trophy and Award is donated by the Catholic Education Office, Wollongong. To a student whose artwork and writing best capture the essence of the goodwill message of Christmas. This year, our judge, Miss Sally McDowell, chose Emma Eskra, Holy Innocence Croydon, God is with us. It is with great pleasure that I announce on behalf of Tony Farley, the Executive Director's Award. This year, the Executive Director's Award goes to Abby Way, St. Luke's Reevesby, Nativity Dreaming. And now for the Notre Dame Award. And we particularly thank the staff from the University of Notre Dame Australia for this wonderful award. The judges this year represented three different faculties. Uh, Katrina Eddles Hurst from Gifted Education, Liz McKenna representing Visual Arts, and Chris Walter from Theology. Before I announce the award, I'd like to read to you what the judges have um, described the artwork. The judges perceived that this artwork had excellent aesthetic balance, good use of colour, which was in keeping with the traditional use of colour for the Holy Family. For example, the artist's use of colour in the foreground was also reflected in the Magi. This, the judges perceived, created a feeling of harmony. 
The judges were also impressed with the artist's theological explanation for their artwork. Even though this artwork was an abstract, it is within the context of traditional motives and colour use for the Holy Family. And therefore, their choice is Kira Tui from Year 5, Our Lady of Fatima Karingba for her work, Innocence, the 2020 Notre Dame Award. Congratulations to Kira. And you've all been waiting for the Archbishop's Choice Trophy and Award. And the judge, of course, is our Most Reverend Anthony Fisher, Archbishop of Sydney. His choice this year is Alfio Cavalieri from Year 5, St Michael's Primary School, Meadowbank, for his work, A Fresh Start. Congratulations to all our award winners and prize winners. Well done. Thank you everyone for joining us today on this, the first Sunday of Advent. What a great way to begin this season. For the first time, the exhibition of artworks is an online gallery of art. Please ensure you share this link with your family, with your colleagues, with your friends, and celebrate the gifts and talents of these beautiful children. In the Catholic Weekly, there will be featured a full colour exhibition booklet of artworks, where you'll also be able to read the messages from our directors, our supporters, and the Archbishop. What a wonderful way to evangelise. A very special thank you to Mr Anthony Cleary, Director of Mission and Identity from Sydney Catholic Schools, for his long-term support and leadership of this program. Thank you, Anthony. And finally, thank you to you all. And the blessings of hope and peace be your gift this Christmas. Enjoy your day.